The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true? The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. Oh, yeah, that was kind of an awkward start, but whatever. Anyway, welcome back to Phoenix Wright. I guess I just kind of forgot to do that. I pressed A before I thought, so yeah, anyway, the only person I saw go to the... Okay, Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Yeah, uh, it, ugh, that was really awkward. Hey, welcome back. Phoenix Wright. Testimony. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm, so if no one else went there to the studio, then it would have to be the Steel Samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Thank you. Because I know what I must do. Must kill her. In her sleep. The time of the poor Hammer's death was 2.30, and the only person I saw... That is a lie, because this is number two. Examine photo number two. Uh, hang on, wait just a second. Uh, on, wait, hide is one. Alright. I really hope I'm not... I hope I'm just doing this at the right time. Good, music stop. Okay. Epic finger point, by the way. Hold on! We'll get this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the for the studios, correct? Yes, sir, Ace, honey. So whenever anyone passes by here, automatically takes a picture? And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Well, shut up, you stupid old hag. Right, anyway, it's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam, cam data. Ooh, you know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. Wow. That very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words, October 15th, 2 p.m., photo number 2. Even I know what that means. It was take Okay, 15. Really, Sonny? Actually, I knew that, too. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says photo number 2. Photo number 2? The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo number one if it was the only photo? Yeah, what you be hiding, old woman? Order, order! Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Wow, you're stupid. Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence shows that no one, not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Yet there is only data for one of the photos. Who could have erased the data for the other photo? Only someone with access, the security epic finger point herself. Uh, you watch your mouth, whippersnapper. The only person I saw that day was Will Powers. Uh, liar. But the camera on the gate fired, fired twice. That means two people went by and were killed by a camera. Whatever. Um, well, yes, that's what it would seem to mean. And the witness explained this to the court. Um, ahem, I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Um, e edgy boy, help! Huh? B believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. Either. Ugh. Huh? Someone, how some help you are? You're a whippersnapper too. Whippersnapper? Something the matter, Miss Oldbag? Ah, that's right. I I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by this gate. Someone other than the Steel Samurai. Er, uh, well, yes, I suppose you could put it that way. Oh, wow. Stupid. Why would you have an old woman work at working as a security guard? Oh, I see. Your testimony, please. Alright, the other person. What's going on here? Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security camera and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see? Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. What is it of? But Miss Oldbag, this is the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny. I'm the only just remembered it. Right. Anyway, Mr. Wright, please can please begin the cross-examination. Oh, well, I'd say this is more of a turn to the expected, but I kind of expected this. All right. The other person. Every day after I finish the guard duties, I'm okay. I go through the photos recorded on the security camera and check them. Alright, uh, throw it in, but okay. Come to think of it now, I remember that throwing out one photo. Alright, what photo was that? Well, who in the heck was in that photo you erased? Oh, a fanboy. Fanboy? Yes, Maya, but boy version. Okay. Still Samurai fanboys, real freaks, if you ask me. They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about. When was there that day? Objection! Objection. W wait a second. 
Didn't you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes to the employee area. Yeah, that one that could fit a kid. The grate had been loose for a while. It leads outside, and well, that's where they come in. They come in through the drain? I told you they were freaks. Oh, and... Uh, and? Uh, they're kids. Children. Whippersnappers. K kids So, on the photo that you erased... It was a boy. Probably second or third grade. Wow. What?! Wow. That... Smack, smack, smack. Uh, or order, order! Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studios that day? One was the Steel Samurai dragging his leg, the other was a boy who looked to be in about second or third grade? Oh yes, well, we see his type every day. Can't stop him, can't catch him. A boy in the second, third grade? Hmm. I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the Steel uh, Samurai Spear. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Right, as I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I erased the data. Um, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. Smack. I'd like to take a five-minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital, vital information this time. Yeah, yeah, whatever. It's not our fault she's an idiot. And an old woman that has no memory and friggin' douchebag, whatever. Okay. Mr. WP? Y yes? Tell me straight. Were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? I, I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping, honest. So, who was the Steel Samurai in that security photo? Uh, how should I know? The Steel Samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You should take better care of your stuff. I, I couldn't imagine anyone want would want to steal steel samurai costume. So where does this leave me? It doesn't look good. You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick, well, what are you? What are we gonna do? First, we play for more time. We'll start targeting someone else that could conceivably have done this. Right. And it'll, it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day. Right, but if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick, it's time. Okay, let's go. Ugh. What does that mean? Please don't sigh like that, sniff. Whatever. I'm trying to decide if I should actually sniff or just say sniff. Okay. The court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thoughts on this matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios was a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence, but there is still no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Well, what else would you call for, idiot? Hmm. Very well. Mr. Wright, your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who committed this crime. Order! Interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind. However, be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right. Great. Is it the stakes weren't high enough? So, who is this person other than Mr. Powers who could have committed the murder? Assistant girl, the grade school boy, security lady. Screw you, old bag. It was the security lady, Wendy, old bag. Who? <laughs> the steel samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about that morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Epic Fingerpoint and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady, old bag. What? Whippersnapper! Smooth, Phoenix. Even I hadn't thought of that. Order. Order, order! I is this true, Old Bag? Old Bag? That's Miss Old Bag to you! This Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. 
She could have briefly left her post to steal the steel samurai costume. And then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. W why would she go through the trouble wearing the steel samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. Wanda frames it. She knew the camera of the great would take her picture. If she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. Uh, I see. Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Finally, you're on our side. Oh, yeah, right here. Sherlock Holmes, too, baby. Yeah, Sherlock Holmes, the bluffer. That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an <laughs> objection and some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. Wow! W w what? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you all think I did it? Is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there, do something! What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this the whole way. Um, I really want to press further. Screw you! The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Ms. Oldbag's actions on that day. But, but, but why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? You forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive, too. Hmm, indeed. That did it. Now Windbag... Now Windbag is one of the suspects. No, no hard feelings, I hope. <laughs> Wait just a minute! What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy! The one whose photo I erased! He's only a grade schooler, though, as you said. Second or third grade, was it? Th th that doesn't matter! When I was that that age, I could pin my old man in ten seconds tops! Mm, yeah, I doubt that. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy is not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Oh, is it... Is it to be nice to the kids and me of your elders this day? Or your elders day? Whatever. Uh, I couldn't read that well. I have proof. P proof Indeed. Then let's see this proof, then, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could not have committed this murder? Um... Let's see here. Ah, I know. The key card that he could not have possibly gotten. Bam. The scene of the murder, as we all know, is Studio One. Oh, whoops, I, mi I missed the A button. I hit, I put my thumb below it. That's pretty sad. Okay, however, you need a card key to enter Studio One. How could a boy with no formal relation to the studios have a card key? I see. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? Ugh. Please die. The windbag, speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. Guilty. Guilty. Dang it, suspend. Why can't we just get a guilty verdict now? Just lock her up forever. That'd be awesome. Okay. This court will suspend proceedings for the current uh, trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Miss Wendy. Uh, what was her name? Something old bag, Your Honor. Oh, burn. Okay. Then the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. The court is adjourned. Smack. Well, wait a second! I'm not just gonna sit here while you run off barking at the wrong tree! Me! I'm talking! Oh, cool. I like that little sound it made. Oh, great. Stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. <laughs> wow. Miss Oldbag, what is this all about? Have you just omitted- have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. In <laughs> not to talk about? By whom? Huh? You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? W well, testify! I like that sound. It sounds a lot cooler. Anyway, uh, once again, I'm going to have to end it off before the testimony, so ha ha, you get deprived of your uh, amazing twist. Anyway, see you guys then. Or later. Whatever.